Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Field of Dreams on ACTN. My name is Steve David, I'm your host. Today we want to talk about the new HEX format and my dream team panel is going to assist me in doing that. And viewers, sit back, relax, and hear about it because we, you're going to learn a lot about the new HEX format. Let me take time to introduce the panel. I've got my co-host, Narada Wilson. Welcome to the set, Narada. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, Steve. And a very important topic that would affect not only our country, but a couple other islands and countries across the CONCACAF region. And happy to be part of the team today. Glad to have you. Next, Narada is Jefferson George. Jefferson, welcome to the set. Thank you, Steve. Always a pleasure. All right, and to my right, Alvin Henderson. Welcome to the set, Alvin. Uh, always a pleasure to be here. And I hope after the... What we have to say today, there are not many people who will be crying <laughs> as a result. <laughs> and also, Larry Joseph. Welcome to Zed, Larry. Thank you, Steve. And um, just want to say hi to Steve Kahn out in Toronto, who I met one of my recent visits. He says he looks at the show all the time, and he, he's impressed with it. And also to Bobby Sukram, who called me up to say he also looks at the show and enjoys the show. So hi to this guy. You, um, you ever seen Steve Kahn play? I did not see Steve. I saw him play at his later age, you know. Right. You know. Good player. Yeah, well, everybody has said so. Well, I know and he's still Bobby. fit. He does camps in, 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 out in Toronto today, and you yeah. see him. You give him a chance, he, he will put on a uniform and still play. Right. And he's, right. he's 72. Right. Yeah. right. Looks good. Okay, um, guys, you guys are going to have to teach me something about this hex because I thought I, I am really way off to what I thought this new hex is. So would one of you guys explain, and then we could massage it going through so the viewers can understand it totally. All right, well, I will start off um, seeing that I feel I understand it, and that's why I'm not too a happy man uh, <laughs> these days because of what's happening in, uh, Steve, let's call it CONCACAF qualifying. Because right. there are two phases of this CONCACAF qualified. There's a part one uh, that we could call it, or phase one, is the hexagonal phase, or part one. <clears throat> and the hexagonal phase, teams that are FIFA ranked between one and six after the window, FIFA window of June 20th, June 2020, after the FIFA window of June 2020, teams rank one to six in CONCACAF will qualify for the HEX. So you're not playing games to qualify for the HEX. You are, once you get into the rankings, a ranking will determine if you get into the HEX. Now you may be playing games to improve yourself in the rankings, but once you are in that top six ranking, you qualify for the HEX. And why is it so important to get in that top six? Because three, oh, no. and I, I, oh. well, I, I can't call it a half, please. <laughs> we call it a quarter, please. Yeah, a quarter. Three places will go straight to the World Cup from that HEX, because they'll be playing in, late, in the later part of the year and, and the following year. Three places, three places will go straight into the World Cup, and the fourth place, and that's where it becomes it's very tricky, complicated. Very <laughs> the fourth place team will now play, before they play an intercontinental team, which is no guarantee for them anymore, the fourth place team will have to play against the group stage of the lower ranked teams, the winner of the, the winner. group stage of the lower ranked teams, and the winner of that game, home and away, between the fourth place team and the, the group stage winner, home and away, they will have to play against the winner of the Asian Federation or the winner of the Comic Ball Federation. Right. Um, we know that that has rotated uh, from time to time. Last time, Honduras had to play Australia and they didn't make it. The time before, when we were close in the fourth place, we had to play the Asian Federation Bahrain team. So that's the hexagonal part of the 
the, the, the situation, the group stage, uh, no, rather, I don't know if you want me to continue or you, you, you're you up yeah. to stage on the group stage. <laughs> yeah, I, I am, I am. Um, I think what now makes that part difficult is we now have teams ranked from group stage, you're going from seven all the way down to possibly, what, 35? Yeah. yeah. Right? Um, where they're now going to be divided, you know, in groups of maybe, what, five or four? Groups of groups yeah, of four, or four. And three groups of three. Right. Yeah. And then taking the top team in each of these groups. So you're talking about uh, we have to do the have to do the math quickly here. Yeah. So if Doc you could come in there. Um you're talking about four to five teams, right, at the top level. Um they're taking the top two in each in each of these groups. The top one, the first team and then the best is it the next two, I believe. They're taking the, no, they're the taking the best, best team, team in, right. from each group, each group, and then they go to a knockout stage. Correct. Of the winners, those winners. Yeah, of those of winners. Of the winners, correct. Yes. So they go to a knockout stage of those winners. Those, and th that knockout stage will come all the way down to a final. final. Yeah. And that final, the team that wins the group stage from teams rated 7 to 35 will now play, play the fourth, fourth place, place team, team that I talked about. I'm confused already. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, like it's, it's a lot of playoffs, but yeah. more only for the teams that are ranked outside Seven, of outside the, the six. six, which makes it difficult because as Doc said, the fourth place team is playing two playoffs more or less. So he's going to play two games to try and get through. And then if he wins that, he has another two games to try and qualify. I think but for the, the team viewers... down on the bottom, the teams down on the bottom, you have, you ranked one in your group, then you're going to be playing a knockout round. So it's constantly just finals, but it's more for the teams who are lower ranked. The problem with this for the viewers is that the teams that are ranked in the top six, as Doc mentioned, if the other teams that are lower ranked do not play games or don't necessarily compete at a stage where they could move, you technically could sit in that six for the entire six months and, and qualify no without being bumped out. bumped out if the bottom team, it's putting pressure on the teams that are lower ranked. Except that we now have the Nations League. Correct. So the Nations League, which is going to start in, in September, September. Correct. Yeah. you are obligated to play games there. And in the Nations League, you are getting points in the Nations League to be able to move to up, move up the rankings. The problem with the Nations League in our neck of the woods is that teams that are, uh, are not in nations themselves in FIFA, such as Martinique and mm -hmm. Guadeloupe That's right. and French Guiana, you get no points from playing them. Even if you win. Even if you win, <laughs> because they are not a nation. And so we already have Martinique in our group to play against. We will be playing against Martinique, Honduras, and Curaçao, I think. Correct. Yeah, Curaçao. And so we get no, no points, points for Martinique. For to Martinique. move up the rankings if we beat Martinique. So we could beat Martinique five none or six none. No good. points will be awarded. I think for the for the for the viewing public, uh, maybe we could just zero in on where Trinidad ranking is right now Correct. and how, how they, we go about this whole format is going to affect this Trinidad team in terms of us qualifying for the next World Cup, you know. So I know maybe Doc or Onorada might be able to say, okay, we are presently ranked. We presently and our ranked. chances of moving up to interfere <laughs> yes. with, the, with the six is... Well, let, let, let's try to explain the format and then we will, in the second and third um, sessions, we can really iron out where, how we can come through. Okay. Yeah, well, so yeah. Yeah. Well, how you understand it, Chair? Yeah, well, um, any form, any changing of the format will always um, take a little adjusting to get um, to. Um, my thing is that the justification for it, um, this is where the smaller teams are concerned. Of obviously, the teams that are in your top six, right, or your your, your big three, let's say, or Mexico, USA, um, Costa, Rica. Costa Rica, right, those traditionally. Um, who would be there, it, it, it doesn't affect them. 
because even if we, the, the, the format remained the same, <laughs> they most likely would have been there, right? You're really looking now from that fourth, fifth, and that sixth, what that you know, rotates sometimes. You, know, you have some countries pushing in, your Panamas, right, Jamaica, those, those are the, that's the area that we normally try to, 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 to vie for, right? Um, based on the level of the football that we are playing now, really and truly, we are out of that mix. So we will automatically fall in that um, big pile, very big pile. And um, the, as, as I go back to say, the, the justification was to provide competitive games, not friendlies, but now um, with the Nations League and also the qualifying process, you have countries who would not have had the amount of games to play because it, with, with the or, original format, Correct. after you get knocked out of your group, your football is, is done. More or less done. Yeah. Right? But this one, there's, there's a rotating um, type um, system where you continue to play games. One, that gives you the chance to keep accumulating points. And also, um, if those teams who are not there as yet, in order to vie for upward movement in the table, they use that as their preparation as to, uh, to, to improve themselves, right? So I see that as, as being, um, I know it's difficult for us where we are at the moment, but um, okay. that's just the question for me. Let, me. let me pick this bone. So it, well, if I can understand, the viewers right. can understand because I'm bottom of the barrel. Right, Alvin? <laughs> so we're talking about this first six rank, and right. we're talking about not FIFA rank, we're talking about CONCACAF no, rank. No, it, it is FIFA. It's the same. Right. It's the same. It's the same. same. It's the same. Yes. 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 FIFA puts so it out, but they FIFA give rank, you FIFA but international with all the countries, teams. and then they separate it also yeah. by the federation. Right. right. So, so, the highest six. Right. so, so we're talking FIFA. about our, our rank. Our oh, correct. Yes. The first six, six teams in the CONCACAF region. CONCACAF region. Yes. Right. Okay. All right. Let me give you an idea. Give an example. Give you an idea of why what Jeff is saying is, is so important. Because Mexico, and, and Mexico is now the top-ranked team Correct. in the CONCACAF region. Right. And you get a lot of points from winning your Confederations Cup, which yeah. Mexico has recently won. And yeah. as a result, they, they get a lot of points, and they're near the top of the pile in FIFA. Correct. So they're in the first they're okay. 20. You're in FIFA, they top ranked in our region. Right. Um, USA, USA is second. Right. Costa Rica is third. Right. Costa Rica is third on, on a, a ranking the forty fourth. They dropped yeah. a little bit in, after the Gold Cup. Jamaica is fourth on fifty two. Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Jamaica and Jamaica is a little bit happy right now. They're smiling because a number of people in Jamaica. I've like what's happening, yeah. because as of right now, if it's the FIFA rankings they're we're taking from right now, they're in the hex. Yeah, right. But people who have long, longer vision are looking and say, hey, we could be like Trinidad in a few months, in, <laughs> in a few months time, <laughs> or a few years time. Right. So this may not be so good for us. But right now, Jamaica, Jamaica is, is sitting pretty. Where it comes down and it comes a little tighter is... Team number uh, five, 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 and six. five and six. Uh, I don't Hon know. Oh no, Honduras. Honduras. Honduras? Okay. Right. Honduras and um, the sixth what place matter? team, team seven, eight, and nine. Panama, Canada, and um, and Curacao. Curacao made it. Be no, 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 they're in the, seven. I mean, yeah. That high. Yes. yes. Yeah. They are close enough. Yeah. To interfere with five and six. To interfere yes. with five and six. But those teams are close enough because they are, I think, about ten. ten. Yeah, the points. Ten yes. points back. back. Yeah. And so they can make that up before June next year. We, however, in Trinidad and Tobago, our ranking. Yes. We are down at 101 in FIFA, mm -hmm. and the point standings are such that it's very hard for us to make up the, those points to get past the Curacao, Canada, and Panama, and get into that mm -hmm. team with, with Jamaica, where Jamaica and, and Honduras are right but now. But let's be consistent, and this 
we right. just well, ranked. Trinidad, we are Trinidad, we 11th, 11th, right? Trinidad yeah. is 11th. Okay, so so what somebody is 10th above us? Haiti. Haiti. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so um, these, if things stay the way they are, All right. the top six is automatically going to be in the head. Yes, yeah. correct. And then they pay, these top six will have to play for three spots. Three spots, automatic. They go through. And they go through. Yes. And then the next three would be... Um, well, no. if you finish fourth no. in, in that hex, fourth. if you finish fourth in the hex, you're waiting to play... Yeah. The winner of, five the winner of seven to thirty-five. Five and six right, is eliminated at the hex stage. Let's take a pin there. Let's take a break because we need to <laughs> sort this out. Viewers will be right back after the show break. In the Nations League, we're going to play against Honduras. And to us, Honduras is now, as of this point in time, Honduras is in the hex, in the top six. They're they, they fifth, right? Right. Yeah. Honduras. Okay, welcome back, viewers. Okay, so we stuck the pin right on there. On fourth. On the fourth spot. Right. So the top three goes. So now the fourth spot. He's now in a waiting. He's he in. has to wait to play the all winner the other of teams at the bottom. The bottom. Explain that. No, <laughs> The, all the other teams, teams 7 to 35, will go into group stages first and then a knockout stage where you have one eventual winner. And that one eventual winner will, will now come up against the fourth place team. So and that one eventual winner from 7 to 35, you would think after you go through all that, you say, well, oh gosh, I made the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't make the World Cup. Still you play the fourth play place team. Again. So if you beat the fourth place team, you, still have an you say, oh gosh, I made the World Cup. <laughs> I say, no, you have to, to play, play against the winner from the other confederation, <laughs> yeah. either Asian or coming. Oh, okay, yeah, but we still have a chance. Oh. We have a ticket. And once we have a ticket, we have a chance. <laughs> right. So, so in any but it's almost like you're buying about three tickets eh? <laughs> because every time that ticket won, you have another ticket to buy to then try again. That's the only time we have a chance because we have a ticket. But the, the chances realistically it's right now slim. of any team that is ranked less yeah. than, than Haiti of getting into the Which top six. Yeah. Yeah. Close to impossible. Haiti and Curacao is close to nothing. Yes, we would have to make up a lot of points. Um, a large number of points. I think the points is the killer. Before but, June next year. Now, if there was a longer period of time, right. if it was another two, two years, years, I could have said, yeah. oh, yes, Trinidad could, you know, change the, the, the form of the, the, of the way the national team is playing at present and increase its chances to move up the rankings. Yeah. Uh, we have had Trinidad in the top 30 ranking um, in, in years gone by. Right. So... There's no reason that we can't be there again, but we have not been for a long time yeah. in the top 50. That's no, right. I think uh, Doc did a good job of explaining, especially for the viewers, um, how the, you know, the, the, the process and the format. And j just to add to the, the discussion about the mammoth task that it will be to get in there, um, you would have to play countries... Um, that are way Higher above you in the FIFA ranking and points. get good results. That's, that's not, it's not explaining them because yeah. you can play them, um, but your, your, your place movements. would not change. Yeah. So you play countries, let's say, in, in you know, 30 and above, up in the top 20s, yeah. and get results against them, and Positive that results. will help to move you. Now, the other factor, as he mentioned, is the time. Yeah. Now, realistically, how many top teams would you get to play between mm -hmm. now and next to especially you know, especially as all, all confederations <laughs> have a nation's, nation's league, league. Yeah. correct yeah. and they would be looking yeah. for the points and, as well. and they are playing in a nation's league yeah. in their own confederation which limits the amount of available fifa dates for them to play yeah. uh yeah. friendly games and just and to I, touch and on also sorry, no, right, that trinidad is not an attractive if opponent correct. for these higher ranked teams correct and to add on what larry's saying for people to understand why trinidad isn't attractive is because because of where we are ranked internationally by fifa's ranking winning a game drawing a game or losing a game against us the points that they gain or whatever the case is is much less mm -hmm. so playing trinidad for example 
and you win, you may be awarded three points because we are ranked low. But playing England and winning, you may be awarded 20 points yeah. because they are ranked higher. So that is where, as Doc was saying, if our points, if we are away by 10, 20 points from any team that is right above us, we're going to have to play opposition that are ranked in the top 30, 30. at least for us to close the gap with two or three games. You know, um, if not, we may win against a team lower ranked, but we wouldn't close the gap to be afforded a higher spot in CONCACAF. And that is provided the teams that, that are ahead of us are not moving themselves. Yeah. yeah. Correct, yeah. There are two things I'd like to bring up here. We are going to play against Honduras. I said, we've already spoken about Martinique. Correct. Martinique is, is a zero points right. because they are not a nation. Yeah. In the Nations League, we're going to play against Honduras and Curaçao. Honduras is now, as of this point in time, Honduras is in the hex, in the top six. They're, they're, they're fifth, right? Right. Yeah. Honduras is fighting to stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Honduras doesn't want to drop out of that top six. To end up in the dog fight. And so they are going to come all guns blazing. Yeah to play against us, to try and get to be able to beat Trinidad and Tobago. And stay. And stay. Cement this export. Now, we're in for some exciting games and Correct. very competitive yes. games. Correct. And that is the, 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 the football uh, fan who is a neutral is going it's, to enjoy this. Yeah, that's right. But that's it's, not, right. it's not going to be nice for Trinidad and Tobago because the chances of up, us moving up into the top six get less and less when you see some of the opposition that we have to play against. That's correct. And, and that is a huge problem within the next six months of Trinidad and Tobago's football. Yeah. There, are, there are actually countries that I found out about who, we, when the new system came into play, they have actually hired consultants, in mathematical consultants <laughs> as well, <laughs> to see how you can move up the FIFA rankings quickly. <laughs> Because the FIFA ranking system, you have to be a, 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 somebody who has a, a, at least an A-level mathematics to be able to figure out how the system is actually working at this point. It's been changed so many times. Mm -hmm. And the maths in it uh, are based on many factors. We've outlined a few. But it's very difficult to move 30 or 40 points into where we need to move in a short, to, space, in a short space of time to get into that top six. Yeah. Okay. We have um, the Caribbean Cup, right? Yeah. Is the Caribbean Cup they call it? Nations. The Nation Cup. Nations League. If we can come out top of the Nation Cup, mm -hmm. that doesn't move us up. Um, we, we may move we up. Move we up. may move. We may move up probably. 20 spots? I said 10, 15 points. I think what is also you know, very important is that we have to respect that our domestic league, which would be in this case the Nations Cup, the competition in the Nation Cup is built with several teams who are not ranked in, in the, the top 10 or 15 or 20 in the world, whereas it makes it easier for, you know, teams that are in the European, you know, confederation to move because their domestic competition is, you know, you're playing Spain, you're playing Italy, you're playing Belgium. It's very easy for you to go up if you happen to be lucky and win, you know, or Greece that might do it. For us, it's still difficult even with winning because... You know, you're playing against, yes, Mexico and U.S. if you beat them, but there's still is not enough teams that are ranked in the top 15 in the world in our region, which puts a little strain. Okay, so let's do this. We know we rank 101. Right. Let's take Trinidad. Let's talk about Trinidad, how we can move up the rank. Win every single game. In what we're playing. Win Correct. every game. And, and that's not going to happen. So, so it's like, how can, we, okay, the first stage we're going to play is with the Nations. The Nations. The Nations. Cup. Yeah. So we have to win the Nations Cup. Not every game, but we have to win that whole. Yeah. We have to yeah. win every game because yeah, yeah. the points are yeah. still awarded. Yeah, the points yeah. are awarded, but, but we're playing teams that we don't get any points from. Yeah, but yeah, in order to, you still have to play them. In you still have to group. play them. Well, They're well, in your group, so you have but, to play them to win your group. Yeah. But it doesn't matter whether you get points from them. Or the competition to in front of Trinidad and Tobago more, yeah. is in Nations Cup. Trinidad has to think that we have to win the group that we are in. 
Regardless, yeah. Regardless. And we in the group with Honduras. Curacao and Martinique. Curacao and Martinique. And Martinique. Yes. And okay, so the the nation crabs is four groups, no? Four groups. Four, group A, yeah, yeah. yeah. With four people in each yeah, group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have that group. So if we win that group, mm -hmm. we two teams from that group comes out to form another. No, they group. stay up, and the third team drops a tier. No, yeah. I mean to 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 to, to advance. No, to. To win the Nations Cup. Yes. Right, okay. You start with your four goals. Yeah, yeah, right. Teams. Yes, yes, yes. Your two teams come out, mm. and then now you're playing quarterfinals, semifinals, mm. and finals. Right. right. But to, significantly, to as Narada says, it also ensures you stay at the higher tier yeah. right. by coming out of the group. The group. So, so that's step one. Because if we don't win that, we go down. We drop to, to tier two. To tier two. And then we have which other is, games there, but with lower rank. Which is, lower is, rank. is even worse. But so, and if we're looking at it, with a view to World Cup qualifying, then... Yeah, we might as well we might say, as well forget it. Forget it. Yeah, if we, we do are just, we are just have World a Cup positive qualifying. Nations yeah. League yeah. result in terms of the next World Cup, yeah. it's, yeah. I mean, yeah. the, you need to bring the mathematicians out, but the chances are really, really slim. I okay, think. no, well, I, I am, I'm thinking, remember the, f the, the three on the top. Let's think about the three who qualify for the World Cup mm -hmm. after the Hex, the fourth place team has to play with the dog fighters at the bottom. 7 to 35. Yeah. Right. So how do we get in that dog fight? That we, we get into that dog fight by gaining points to get to where Curacao, Haiti, uh, and, and them are through the Caribbean Cup? Or no, the, through the, through the Nations, Nations League. League. The, Nations the Nations League, League only helps you to gain points. points. That's different from the World Cup qualifiers. qualifiers. Yeah, yeah. so that's a right. big but that we have The Nations team. League helps you to climb the ladder. So what I would like, what I think mm -hmm. Doc could explain is, let's look at the old format, for example. Mm -hmm. What would have happened, the teams that were ranked lower would play a series of games where, you know, if at a certain point, if you didn't, if you weren't successful, you were just out. Oh, when it was time for the qualifiers, you had nothing going on for you. Right. You would play friendlies. What they're trying to do is take that and say, hey, what? You were continuing to play football during this space of time. So the Nations League is just more or less for a little dogfight to happen in order for you to gain points to rank, to get access to the point, to the top six rank. In. So what we have to do, as Doc was saying, we have to win the games in the Nations League, regardless of if we get in points or not off these games, because mm -hmm. then we get more access to more games or higher quality of games to then continue gaining points. If we lose, we drop down to a lower tier. We would play games that don't award us too many points to even Deeply close the gap right. <laughs> to, to reach. And then is when we reach there, then that's another dogfight when it comes to qualification time. So yeah, the Nation on. Cup is our Nation's yeah, League. a puppy fight. Now, why, why I don't like this system is it's, it's a system that chooses you from based on FIFA rankings. Yeah. Very now, FIFA awesome. rankings, they have their own problems. Eh? Thing, yeah. And when it, we are at, so, at such a level now, we may not come into uh, any big... Um, discussion or, or argument with getting into the top six. But the teams that are close, are we're very close, um, you know, one or two uh, points different, four points different, sorry. And they're close to each other in ranking. There is going to be real yeah. confusion mm -hmm. in, in, in some of the points being awarded and how this, how this team was able to get more points, More points than us, it. and we played this game, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, like teams like Panama, Canada, El Salvador, trying to get into the top six, there's going to be a real dog fight with with teams like Honduras and uh, and Jamaica over the next year. I'll right, be sticking up in here, and then when we come back, we will talk about what Trinidad and Tobago have to do to get into that upper position with El Salvador and Panama and Canada or whatever to make us be one of those teams that would be like viewers will be right back after the show. Right? As to whether we can actually even have a conversation with these teams, these middle class 
uh, middle-level European teams because of our recent results. Yes, you know, yeah. I'm not saying we shouldn't try. Right. I'm just saying it's really going to be difficult. It shows how important. Okay, welcome back, viewers. Guys, this is so complicated. <laughs> this it is. Let's let's concentrate on what it would take us to get to that spot seven, eight, or nine that would give us a good chance of making it. Let, let's concentrate on that. So let's talk about what Trinidad has to do in in the Nations Cup. Right. And move us, and let's see if we can move ourselves up, up into one of those positions. Tell yeah, me what we have we to win the Nations win. Cup. We know, but if we if we win the Caribbean Cup, where does that take us? It gives us some leverage in terms of getting higher quality opposition to play. That's to all. try to gather more points in right. a very short space of time. So we really have to take small steps going forward. We have absolutely no bargaining chips because of our performance, which have placed us at a certain ranking. So we now have to depend on results. Correct. That is in, within our power, results. Next competition in front of us is the Nations Cup. That should be our concentration. Um, I think also I will add, and then Doc, you know, Jeff would decide. I also think now at every FIFA window, we have to be very strategic with who we play. Who we play. Now we have been getting what people consider good opposition in terms of different, you know, mm -hmm. at foreign territories. But we weren't taking too much consideration in terms of the results because we're looking to expose the guys. We actually would need a, what I would probably consider a strategist to sit down and say, these games are what we could target. It needs to be realistic to actually gain points, whether a draw or win, but has to be teams that are still ranked high enough but actually we could make a dent. It cannot be running into play Belgium tomorrow. That does not make sense. It has to be some sort of team, maybe I'm just using a random, possibly a Wales where we could maybe say something and they ranked a bit more. Um, it, it, it would take, it, it, we can't go with just who's paying the flights anymore or who's inviting us and who is ranked wherever. It has to be where we could actually gain points. I think. <laughs> And the reason Doc is not, not so optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, right? Yeah. I mean, we, we haven't been <laughs> strategic um, ever in terms of how we choose our games. Um, there, there are countries who would be... Now, as Doc also mentioned, now this is specific to us in terms of the way um, our qualification is now set up, right? But yeah. even countries within our confederation, they would have been a lot more... Um, forward thinking when they look at who they play because as Doc says this is a science it's something yeah. that we have not been too heavily into but um, back to your point as to how we move up we definitely have to improve that selection process who we play when we play sometimes it's better to miss a window and not play just thinking about your standings and where you're going to be rather than um, you know, just looking for a game for a game's sake, you know, because yeah. these countries now, when you pick a, a, a friendly with a team who is close to you, the again, just above you, this type of thing, and you lose, yeah. it, it hurts you. It's going to really hurt you. Now, now, six months ago, Steve, if you had asked me, what do we do? That same question, the same question. What do we do to move up the ranking? Six months ago, I'll tell you, we go all out to win the Gold Cup. Because your Confederations Cup is the, is the, the trophy or the, the, the game gives you points. that gives you the most, most points. points. Even yeah. if you don't win it, you reach a semi-final or, or, right. or a final, Correct. you gain significant points for your Confederations Cup. That's why Jamaica is so high. That is yes. why Jamaica and is so high. And Curacao. And Jamaica is so high because they have been finalists in previous years yeah, and in the semi-finalists semi on this location, on this occasion. So they're now 52nd in the world as a result. And it's going to be hard for Trinidad, 101, to reach up to 52nd to displace Jamaica. So I've actually excluded Jamaica from the, the, from the possible uh, teams that will be coming, will drop out. 
the lower teams, Honduras, yeah. who we play, El Salvador, they will be fighting in re in realistically the with Panama, Canada, Haiti, and Curacao for that spot. To tell you the honest truth, I am usually the biggest optimist that they will find. Yeah. When, when we, many people in 2006 felt that we would never make the World Cup, people will tell you that I was still one of the people who calculated Talk each to game to tell you how we were going to go to the World Cup. But on this occasion, I see no chance mm -hmm. of us climbing those spots to get into the final six. So our hope, our hope in, in Trinidad and Tobago rests on winning the 7 to 35 group. We must win that group. Not only win the group stage, we must win the knockout, the quarterfinal, the semifinal, and the final. So we must no win chance, right? and challenge the fourth place team. I see that as the only way that Trinidad has a chance to get close to the World Cup. But I still see it's a huge problem okay. for any of the fourth place teams in CONCACAF to, to beat what I see in the Asian and Commie Ball Federation yeah. right now. And I think last time they played Asian, so this time it's going to be a South American ball, team. Yeah. It's going to be a Commie Ball. Uh, last thing I'd like to say is despite all this this the recent shakeup and whatnot uh, in how we're going to qualify, and I don't like it at all, and many people uh, have said the same, this may only last for one. one World Cup. Because... People don't like it. No, not so much I don't like it. For 2026, you may have 48 teams. Right. And, and so a different format may come into being And at then that the region time. that is being played at already guarantees... Our CONCACAF boys trees, yeah. already yeah. inside because yeah. there's a tree, a tri nation right. hosting that World so Cup. So there's going to be a whole different format for the World Cup in 2026. But like you saying though, um, we should have people on this right now trying to figure this out because let's say I'm a wheeler and dealer and I can go and get games against Argentina, Brazil, um, England. Um, whoever, big teams, and I, and I have a chance of drawing or beating them, I can get real points and move myself. You may not even have to go to that That's height. You right. may get teams like um, a Romania or Slovenia, right. Right. Uh, you know, uh, teams at the second or third tier in Europe, in Europe who are right. rated higher than you. Yeah. And, and you have a, a real chance of possibly getting a good result against them. And, and so, uh, so then you may be able to climb a little faster. That's what we should be working on now. Right. Yeah, well, I or mean, we Steve, are. it's easy to say that, you know. <laughs> yeah. You can't run away from our recent results on the field. Those results are going to have a huge impact as to whether we can actually yeah. even have a conversation with these teams, these middle-class, uh, middle-level European teams, because of our recent results. We you know, yeah. I'm not saying we shouldn't try. Right. I'm just saying it's really going to be difficult. It shows how important it is to get good results as a nation because it impacts on everything going forward. And because we seem to be tumbling so quickly in terms of our ranking and our standard and everything, it's putting a lot of pressure on us. Well, it's not putting. We already are faced with tremendous pressure. Who could have foreseen that these decision makers in CONCACAF would have sat and come up with this format for this, this, this qualifying? None of us. So we were comfortably <laughs> sitting expecting it would, the status quo would have remained and Trinidad would have been in the mix. Well, Larry, the decision making about choosing this system, I blame nobody else but the Caribbean group of, the union of teams. The Caribbean start. union of teams which used to vote as a block when Jack Warner was there. And we got, uh, because we voted as a block and voted in, to systems in the long run, which benefited us, they no longer are voting as a block. Each, each um, country is voting to what suits them the best. And the smaller countries, as Jeff said, are getting more games. So they're not just getting one World Cup game every four years and they're knocked out. 
they're now getting more games in the World Cup uh, because they're in a group and they're playing home and away and so they're in the World Cup qualification for right, a little right. longer that's period. What it is, yeah. Maybe getting them a little more finance. That's right. Definitely. Definitely. All right? So it, it benefits them. We now, we have not yet, and this is something that is going to come later, how is this not being the hex going to affect us financially? Because generally, being in the hex is what brings us the most revenue in a World Cup qualifying year. Yeah, and, and so it just adds to what I've been saying in terms of the negative fallout from our poor results recently. Mm -hmm. So it puts added pressure on the whole administration, in, uh, both the technical staff of the national team and the administration. I'm sure some of the things we're discussing here is not alien to them, but it all revolves around your performance and results on the field. You can't, no matter what is done in the background or whatever wheeling and dealing is done, the result on the field is what is going to impact one way or the other as to which way we go. And unfortunately for us at this point in time, it's all been negative results. Mm -hmm. And right. we, we're sitting here and we're trying to live in a kind of a, a fantasy world that I wonder if tomorrow when I get up, mm -hmm. they will change the format and we could get back in because we've been spoiled. Mm -hmm. On all our lives, that we're always there, there about. Whether we, we feel at the last little or not, but we're always there. Now we are looking at a very strong probability that we're not, not even close that, this that, time around. That's a very good, a good point that, that, that Larry's mentioning there. And again, it comes back to a, a lack of planning and forward thinking. Now, he mentioned results on the field. Regardless of the format, regardless of what um, qualification structure is in place, results on the field is paramount. And if you consider yourself um, really realistic challenges for the HEX, we, we, this discussion, should, we'd be in the other part, thinking about how, you know, how, how we really um, strategize and, and, and probably even with a string of poor performances, still be in with a shot for that, you know, uh, um, fifth and sixth um, spot for the Hex. Having not had uh, proper planning and proper preparation, then we end up in the poppy fight, right? The, the seven to, to the five. And there, again, not having a plan, you have greater consequences because you can end up now falling further away from that pile if you are not strategic if your results don't go um, in a positive way to keep moving you forward. And so you so you cry now because you're out of the hex. But out of the hex is just the first drop. Mm -hmm. There's further down the slide if you don't yeah. sort yourself out. Okay, That's let's take a break. When we come back, I want us to talk about our strategic move to, to climb to make that happen. And I might have think maybe we need to play Mexico, US, <laughs> We'll be right back after the show. Because I think all the other countries that we're seeing that are now climbed to eight, nine, the Costa Rica, um, not the Costa Rica, the Curacao, the Martiniques, these teams that we're now know. seeing given trouble have gone out. Guyana is even yeah, another team. That's who, right. They have gone out and put in Canada and in England. Anybody with parentage, that's whatever, right. any little right. oomph of Guyanese in you. And I think Trinidad. Okay, welcome back, viewers. This hour was the fastest hour I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> because of complications. So, uh, we have to summarize this thing. Because how is it and some strategic way that we can get, if we can beat all the teams on the top, Mexico, USA, Costa Rica, and Jamaica, <laughs> We should be able to move our ranking <laughs> as the top of the conquer cap. So um, tell me how we're going to make this happen. Because we have to make this happen. Already I've told you, Steve, we have to win every game. In winning every game, we win the Nations League. Right. To win the Nations League, we probably have to play two, at least two of those teams that you talked about. We have to play either uh, Costa Rica, Jamaica, USA. Because they'll be... It's, it's, it's a knockout yeah. stage 
after the, the, the group stages the group in the stage. Nations League. So we will have played those games. If At we win point. all the games and win the Nations League, we would move up significantly. But as I said, FIFA rates your Confederations Cup as your top. Mm -hmm. With the points move, movement, they rate the Nations League now not as many points, but you can move up mm -hmm. the ladder with the Nations League as well. We have to win the Nations League. Well, okay. So we don't have to win every game. I want to be realistic because we're not going to win every game. I don't. Well, think. remember the group stage. We win the, league. the group stage. Yeah. If we lose, if we lose. You may not come out of the group. Too, too many games. If you, if, all right. We have to win the group. To, we, may be, be, right. we may be able to tie one game. Right. Right. Okay. And then, but we have to win but the group. We must win the group. But so we, we must win, win the group. group. We win that group. We win the group, you go, to, you go to knockout. So you so, have to win. So you have to win. Right. So we win those. Then we win the league. We win the okay. So if we win that cup, that nation's cup, yes. that should put us in the CONCACAF top. No. No, no we're 11. So we no. might get... No. We might, we might move up eight to or seven. Eight, seven or eight uh, yeah. a night. Um, my, I, my suggestion Too far behind would be, the um, I think, this is just mine, I think we have to actually go out extensively and look for players to add to the squad. Because I think all the other countries that we're seeing that are now climbed to eight, nine, the cost. Costa Rica, um, not the Costa Rica, the Curacao, the Martiniques, these teams that we're now know, seeing yeah. given trouble have gone out. Guyana is even yeah, another team. That's right. They have gone out and put in Canada and in England, anybody with parentage, that's whatever, right. any little right. oomph of Guyanese in you. And I think Trinidad, yes, we have gone out and we've done it, but I think it has to be something that we have to sit down and really think, who can we get playing in any European, American, anywhere around the world? get these guys to increase this pool to ensure that we have the best of the best players because all these other countries at, low, at the lower tier have been doing it for years battling and we've seen the results. Mm -hmm. We have not worked out in the last couple of years. We are now down in the 7 to 35 mm -hmm. bracket. We have to do it as well. I like, um, I like Steve's um, viewpoint. I think the viewers would better understand that when Steve and they played... <laughs> We would top, top of the pile. We would run into Mexico normal and going to win. Really, you know, anybody in in, in that at that time was how much two qualifiers, not so one one one, one, one team one. was going through. <laughs> you know, twenty four teams in our World Cup, and that, that's why I'm saying we coming from where Steve is coming from. He always believed that. <laughs> I mean, come on, who is this Mexico? <laughs> For us, we thinking, why go to Mexico? We already, exactly. we already have three you on know? top of us, and then we decide. You know, so, you know, yeah. I mean, in, 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 with that viewpoint, I think that is the, the, the paradigm shift. Um, viewers, we ain't, uh, we, we, we're not there no more. We're not there anymore. And I think um, the, the point has been made so far that winning would be your only way. Right, Narada mentioned, you know, getting players. There's a lot of things I believe that we need to put in place to get us back to that point. But I think one of the positives for me, I don't believe in, you know, sulking. We, I, I, I don't like asking for favors. And we have gotten ourselves into this position. We have to get ourselves out, right? We, 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 we can't depend on, uh, uh, as, as Larry was saying, somebody wave a magic wand and the format changes to suit you. We need to develop a plan that will move us forward. It's going to be very difficult. It's not going to be easy because the countries likewise that he mentioned, Guyana, all, everybody wants to, to, to move up. But I think if we can get something positive out of this is a change in terms of how we do things. There must be a long-term plan. Doc mentioned um, in terms of the calculations, how we're going to get there. It doesn't seem possible for disqualification. So which means you have to now strategize a longer term. Now, in that event, the format may change. But what will not change is a team's ability to go out and take responsibility for its own results. Yeah. And that is what we need to get going. I think we should, my, we should set a goal for this World Cup. The goal is to win, win this, uh, yeah. seven to 25, 25 yeah. Yeah. that tournament, we will come out the winners of that 
um, group sure. stage and knockout stage and play for the fourth place. I agree. We should be, set that as our goal and let that be the shining light that yeah. we're trying to achieve. And as a result of that, we, we may improve our football, football along the way. I'm sitting here thinking so much infighting in our little local football and the administration and everything. And look at the big mountain we have to climb. So it's like we have extra load on our back yeah. trying to climb Mount Everest. Hmm. I don't get it, man. I, I am so glad I'm not a footballer in today's time. Hmm. I didn't, never thought I would say that, but it looks like it's almost impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what it, it looks like we held into. Any any closing um, remarks from any one of you I guys to summarize the whole thing? I think Larry should say. Uh, um, let me try to put a positive spin on this discussion, and and I agree with you, yep, Doc, yeah. in terms of we, we should set our goals to try to win this particular tournament and uh, make the greatest advance in those lower rank CONCACAF teams so that we set ourselves up go going forward with something positive. At least we are closer to the hex yeah. than when this new format was initiated. And at least it will give us some impetus going forward and at least raise the confidence of the football loving public of this beautiful country of China and today. Well said, Larry. Well, thank you guys for confusing me at the start and then setting me straight. <laughs> and Trinidad and Tobago and viewers, you guys hear it. Um, it's going to be a tall mountain to climb, but um, we've got to make sure that we, we stay focused and stay, um, you know, accept the challenge and go after it. Um, ACTN, thank you for giving us the opportunity. Viewers, thank you for look, look, watching the show. And th thank you for tuning in every week on Monday nights at 8 o'clock and, 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 and 1 o'clock on the Tuesday when we repeat our Facebook page. You can always check us out and our email address, elogrewstv at gmail.com. Drop us a line. If you're still confused, <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> I see you guys next week. The show is ended. Good peace. My name is Steve David. Good night.